Hello everyone, you're on the Mad Auto channel. Today, we will tell you about the five strangest cars in the entire history of automobile manufacturing. The world of cars is truly vast and amazes with its variety, especially when it comes to design. From classic and retro models to modern and futuristic concepts, the automotive industry constantly seeks new forms and solutions to satisfy various tastes and needs. Each manufacturer strives to stand out with its unique style. But before we start, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other interesting videos. Let's get straight to it. In fifth place is the Microlino. It sounds funny indeed. Micro what? The miniature electric car. Microlino was first shown in 2016, but it only went on sale in 2022. The design of this strange car was based on the BMW Isetta, which was produced from 1955 to 1962. By the way, this car also looks quite clumsy, but we want to show you about fresh models. And why even get inspired by this ugly thing? It doesn't even have two wheels at the back. It seems that in a sidewind on the road, this car has definitely already flipped a couple of times. But let's talk about the fresh prototype of this car. The most important feature of this strange machine is that it is electric. The weight depends on the configuration and battery capacity, 496, 513, or 530 kilograms with a range of 95, 175, or 230 kilometers, respectively. Who is even the target for a range of 95 kilometers? I am sure it's enough to go to the store and back. However, it is worth noting that the car's dimensions are more suited to a quad bike, so there is no need for a driver's license to ride the junior model Microlino Lite, and the minimum age is 14 years, since the maximum speed does not exceed 45 kilometers an hour. So, if your 14-year-old son has already started asking for a car for his birthday, I advise you to consider this option for him. For the older versions, a driver's license is needed. They accelerate up to 90 kilometers an hour. When it comes to the design of the car, the first thing that catches the eye is the large door on the windshield. Another feature of this car is the headlights integrated into the mirrors, a sliding panoramic roof, a 230-liter trunk, and a full charge from a 220-volt network in just four hours. By the way, there is no media system in the electric car. Instead, a smartphone with a Bluetooth speaker is offered. It's not clear why this is necessary if you can simply play music on your phone and hold it near your ear. Overall, the car is funny and strange. Perhaps for a specific region and for narrow purposes, some people will find it quite interesting to buy. Moving on to fourth place. In fourth place, in our top of the strangest cars, is a vehicle from the legendary brand Toyota. You might think, when did Toyota make mistakes with their cars? Well, I will show you. This is Toyota FV2. Toyota claims it is a car, but all car enthusiasts say it looks like a large motorcycle. You can't argue with the futuristic design. Toyota itself positions the new car as a unique and completely new type of vehicle. Such cars as Toyota FV2 are expected to be seen on Japanese roads and around the world soon. The futuristic car FV2 has no steering wheel and control is carried out through body movements. And what if my hand accidentally jerks while driving at high speed? Honestly, I can't even call it a car. It is stuck somewhere in the abyss between a car and a motorcycle. That's how you can describe it. The length of the machine is 3 meters, and its height in parking mode is 90 centimeters, increasing to 178 mm when moving. The body of FV2 consists of special screens that can change their color to match the driver's mood. Alas, the show car remained a concept, apparently built in a single copy. It was made for one purpose only, to demonstrate the engineering capabilities of Toyota. Better let Toyota continue to invent reliable cars rather than a miracle of technology. In third place is a car for Aquaman, namely the Ampicar 770. Listen, this is indeed an amphibious car. The idea didn't come out of nowhere. Europe was gradually recovering from the devastation and poverty of the post-war period. The well-being of the working class was growing, and it was already possible to think not only about budget transport, but also about cars for leisure. With typical German practicality, 
Quant decided that the ideal SUV of the late 60s should be a car that one could take fishing without having to attach a boat trailer behind. He probably wanted to simplify life for fishermen by sparing them the need to deal with large jeeps and attached boats. But let's look at this car from a technical perspective. This car does not have increased off-road capability. It has small wheels that are only suitable for driving on asphalt. I am sure that in the 1960s, there were no metal processing technologies for cars that would prevent them from rusting from constant contact with water. Even if you are considering this car for purchase to show off in front of friends and ride on water, just imagine that at city speeds, two boat propellers are immediately noticeable from the back of the car. The advertising shamelessly promised buyers a sports car that can swim, but in reality, this sports car took a whopping 43 seconds to reach 100 kilometers an hour. The top speed was also unimpressive. On land, the maximum speed was 70 miles per hour, and on water, it was 7 knots or 8 miles per hour. This car is indeed strange, but in the 60s, car brands were chasing technology and it can be said with certainty that the Amphicar 770 lost this race. It's indeed interesting that a car can swim, but it's a spectacle only for a couple of times. Moving quickly to second place, we have the Nissan Pivo 3. Another Japanese car brand wanted to surprise the world with an unusual car. Nissan Pivo 3 is already the third incarnation of the concept car. Only the wheels with built-in electric motors and the three-seat cabin have remained from the original idea. The wheels, by the way, can be turned 90 degrees, which already sounds very interesting. The interior of the compact car has lost most of its futuristic outlines and has moved closer to serial production. It's possible that Nissan will decide to mass-produce the Pivo concept. Let's introduce you to the entire Pivo lineup from the legendary Nissan brand. Pivo 1, Pivo 2, Pivo 3. Well, what can we say? The first and second generations are very similar to each other and seem very strange at the time of release. Why did Nissan decide to revive the Pivo lineup and release the third generation of this model? It is immediately apparent that Nissan's designers put in a lot of effort. The car has completely changed compared to the second model. There are features that we see in new cars. For example, the combination of LED and diode optics. The headlights of this little one look quite aggressive despite its size. An interesting and distinctive feature, which is a significant advantage in large metropolises, is that all four wheels of this car can turn. Just imagine how easy it would be to park this car in any parking spot. Moreover, the Pivo 3 can find a suitable parking space for itself thanks to the automated valet parking system. The electric car is designed to accommodate three passengers. The driver is located in the center, with two passengers seated behind him. There are two screens on the right and left inside the cabin. This is because the traditional rear-view mirrors have been replaced with cameras placed on the sides of the car, and the images from these cameras are displayed on these screens. In Japan, smart cars are popular and are a common choice for everyday city trips. Meanwhile, in other countries, such small cars may seem unusual and even funny due to their size and appearance. The top spot in our ranking of strange cars goes to the Peugeot 20 Cup. Again, something stuck between a car and a motorcycle. The name speaks for itself. It seems to me that the designers of this model had 20 cups of some dubious drinks. Engineers simply took the Peugeot 407 and inserted one huge rear wheel. It even looks ridiculous and disproportionate. Let's take a Peugeot 407 and remove one wheel, thought the designers. The 20 Cup debuted with a new four-cylinder turbocharged engine co-developed by PSA Peugeot Citroën and BMW Group. The engine had a capacity of 1.6 liters, 16 valves, and produced 170 horsepower and 240 newton meters of torque. In the 20 Cup concept car, the four-cylinder engine was paired with a sequential six-speed manual transmission with paddle shifters mounted on the steering wheel. Its length was only 3.6 meters, width 1.7 meters, and the wheelbase was 2.3 meters. The two-seater cabin was divided by a central separator, and the passengers sat almost at floor level to maintain a low center of gravity for the car. The car weighed only 500 kg because the monocoque was made of carbon fiber. This car indeed looks unusual, as if two designers worked on it with different briefs. 
One was instructed to create a car, and the other a motorcycle. In the end, without consulting each other, they implemented their ideas, leading to a unique and unusual design. In conclusion, friends, that's all for now. Thank you for watching the video to the end. If you are interested in the topic of strange and funny cars, I recommend watching our previous video Top 5 Ugly Cars. Finally, it's worth noting that these unusual design solutions are created to attract consumer attention and motivate them to purchase these cars. Although some people may find these cars quite ordinary, our top includes those that received predominantly negative reviews from most. Like this video if you learned something new, and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other interesting videos. Thank you for your attention. Peace out.